The designer I have chosen from the What Was Good design is Charles Ormond Eames. Charles Eames was an American designer, architect and filmmaker who together with his wife Ray is responsible for many classic iconic designs of the 20th century. He was born on June the 17th, 1907 in St. Louis, Missouri. Charles is the younger of the two of his parents' children. He attended Yeatman High School where he developed an interest for architecture. He went on to work at the Lack Lead, I think that's how you say it, steel company now called Alton Steel, where he learned about engineering, drawing and architecture. Charles later enrolled in Washington University in St. Louis on an architecture scholarship where he met his first wife, Catherine, whom he married in 1929. A year later, they had a daughter named Lucia. He left Washington University two years later from the time he enrolled for various reasons. One of the reasons for his dismissal is attributed to the fact that he worked as an architect at True Blood and Graph. He could not devote enough time to both his work and studies, hence his leave. In 1930, he established his own architectural firm in St. Louis with partner Charles Gray and was later joined by a third partner, Walter Pauli. One great influence on Charles was the Finnish architect Elil Sarinen, head of this place, in Michigan. Elil's son Iroy, also an architect, would later become a big influence and partner on Charles' career life. Iroy would also become a lifetime friend of his. In 1938, Elil offered Charles a scholarship to the Cranbrook Academy of Art, where Charles would further study architecture and design. In 1939, Charles began to teach design at Cranbrook, and in 1940, he became head of the Industrial Design Department. In May 1941, Charles divorced his first wife. A month later, he married his colleague Bernice Alexandra Kaiser, nicknamed Ray. Ray came from a creative family. Both her parents encouraged her love for art, film, and dance. Ray and Charles later moved to LA, where Charles worked as a set designer for MGM Studios, and Ray designed covers for art and architecture magazine. In their own flat, they continued to experiment with the Kazam machine press on developing an efficient and economical method for molding plywood in three dimensions. In 1942, Charles and Ray founded the Plyformed Wood Company, but due to financial difficulties, the Ames were forced to sell the business to the Evans Product Company, where Charles became head of research and development. In 1945, the Arts and Architecture magazine introduced the Case Study Program. Ray and Charles designed and built the iconic Ames House number eight of the study case, which remains a milestone of modern architecture. In the end, 35 of the houses were designed, with 24 of them actually being built. Charles and Eroy submitted the organic chair as a joint entry to the organic design in home furnishings competition held by the Museum of Modern Art in New York, 1941. Their work displayed the new technique of wood molding. Their aims would further develop in many molded plywood products, including chairs and other furniture, splints and stretchers for the US Navy during World War II. The organic chair was developed in several versions for the competition. From a technical point of view, the design was ahead of its time, but due to the absence of suitable manufacturing techniques, the chair never went into production. Not until 1950 did it become possible to produce this design in large quantities. During the What Was Good Design exhibition in the Museum of Modern Art, they focused on Dieter Ram's principles of good design. When selecting objects for the exhibition, Dieter Ram's came up with 10 principles of good design, but I will only be using 5. And the organic chair design as an example. Good design is unobtrusive. When looking at the organic chair, it is plain to understand how it works. Nothing unnecessary is aiding to its function. Good design is honest. With the organic chair, I believe it to be on honest design because it is what you think it is. Good design is long lasting. This chair would not still be in production today if it wasn't long lasting. The design avoids being fashionable, which also means that the design will never be called old fashioned. Good design is aesthetic. The way that the curves on this design is portrayed makes it look natural which is aesthetically pleasing. And the last one is good design is environmentally friendly. 
This design is environmentally friendly because the materials used can be recycled, like plastics and wood. So, uh, TY, for listening to this sort of informative presentation. Um, yeah, take it easy. See ya.